Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Bball Joe, and this is Timberborn. Thanks for the developers for sending me a key. Uh, really nice after I asked for it. Um, can't complain. I played a little bit and I wasn't sure if I'm going to cover it or not, but I am very, very, very pleasantly surprised about this game. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. It's pretty much a sandbox, but it's with beavers. And beavers are cool. And there's a lot of water mechanics and other engineering that you have to do, and it's 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 just right it feels right let me show you what i'm talking about first you have two fractions uh, that you can choose the folk tales or the iron teeth yep they, they talk a little bit that's cute um i haven't unlocked them yet i only got to level six so far uh, when i played but that's fine folk tales i'm sure they're a little different um you can read what they do um, but this will be fine. And then you have a bunch of different maps. You can also create your own map, custom maps, um, if you want to. Planes is a recommended version. Looked at it, looks boring. Uh, I don't I don't care for it. Terraces, that's the one that I like. And I'll show you why. So let's get started with the folktales. Okay, so we are playing on normal, if you were curious. And I would like to go over a couple things, but the first thing uh, in these types of games, always press space first, hit the pause button. You wanna pause this because it matters. So the goal of the game is effectively to survive. And you have a little helper down here that tells you what you're supposed to do. Great, thanks tutorial. Um, but effectively water, if you folktales, I think for the other ones it may be a little different. Water for the folktales, rains your life without water you can't do anything and then you have a problem you see this dark shaded stuff here that's not lush and green you can't grow anything on there if you can't grow you can't have trees if you can't have trees you can't build if you can't have uh, if you can't grow something you can't have berries or other things that need to grow that is food so you need to take care of your water and we are beavers want to see the beavers they are the beavers aren't they cute there's a baby beaver, there's a real beaver, you can talk to them. Other job, cool. This is Shaktilar, okay, and Gekrum, and a lot of them. They're homeless and unemployed at this point because we have not started yet, but that's fine. Um, everything else up here, um, as I said, water is important. At some point it will tell you, hey, there's a drought coming, but right now your forecast is unknown. That's fine, we'll figure it out. I'm not that worried about that yet. But then you have your resources up here, your general population well-being. These are the pieces that you need eight levels of. Um, whatever you want in here, you just build different things. Eventually you get them. Um, it's just a matter of time because you have to unlock them in between with science. And science is up here. This little, oh yeah, there, science point. Zero. You have to build a building for that and we'll get to that. All, all of this we'll explain along the way, but this is your materials. It is not wood or food. Um, here's your food, here are your logs, and water. Water is important. You can also store water. That was pretty cool, actually. Now it tells you here, you have, how many children do you have, how many adults, how many people are homeless, how many housing units you have available. District center is this guy. You can assign people to work here, uh, up to four, and then how many people, or how many beavers, I'm, I'm sorry for calling you people, um, how many beavers are currently unemployed. And that's, that's all great. Um, everything makes sense. Then you have your construction menu down here. It all makes sense. The cool thing is, maybe I'll show you here. There's a bunch of things that are unlocked and it's completely up to you how you wanna, uh, sorry, a bunch of things that are locked. It's completely up to you how you wanna unlock them because all you need for them is just research points. And once you have them, you can just say, I wanna unlock this. You cannot unlock this without science points though. So we'll get there later, but that's pretty cool that you can just wait and do whatever you want to do. And you don't have to build a lot of stuff. Enough talk, people, Joe. Let's see what this, how, how we're doing things. First things, paths are not necessarily required required, but um, right now, if you would build something, a beaver may not be able to get to it. You see that little red, red thing there? It says, hey, you're too far away from anything that the beavers can get to. So you have to get a little closer. And then once it's green, beavers can get there. Paths extend. Uh, the range that they can walk to. Makes sense, cool, yeah, that, that's nice. What do we need? Uh, you, we can actually follow the tutorial a little bit. We need a lumberjack flag, some path, and some uh, trees for cutting because we are beavers. Pretty much everything we wanna do is around cutting down trees. I'm looking here, what is, there's, there's a nice set of stairs there. Um, why, why do I make this complicated? I, I honestly don't know yet. Paths are free. 
um, keep that in mind and we'll just do this and that should work and then we'll just assign um, some beavers for some um, taking trees down that should work where do we want them i would like these flags to be encapsulating you can see there's a little area of influence these lumberjack flags i want them to be able to take down every tree that's around and that's what we're doing now and then i have to say hey cut trees and since we are beavers again trees are important i just want you to cut down every tree that we have here don't worry later on you can replant them you just have to unlock a couple things for that that'll be fine Yep, I marked a little more than we needed, but that should be good. So, someone that's in here, um, I think, who are you? You are Zunabar, which is one of the workers in the main building. Just went out and is going to start um, building something. That's the other guy. I uh, don't know what your name was. What's your name? You are Matuna, of course. And then we have some um, beavers doing things now. They're just... You know, chewing on trees, chopping on trees. Trying to move the camera here. Yep, there's the beaver guy. Do your thing. Eventually the tree will fall over and then he will bring it to the lumber point. Great! Awesome! So let's continue. We want a water pump and a gatherer flag. Okay, cool. So again, this type of game you want to do a lot of pausing. That's important. That is very helpful for everything that you may do. So do that. Do it more often than not. Um, I'll just throw one here. Again, I just want to cover as much area as possible. Um, and in this case, we're just going to get these berries. Berries are good at the beginning because they're relatively free. Uh, free. And as long as they're watered, they will come back every so often. I don't know what the growth rate is. Growth progress, 65%. So once you pick the berries out, the, they will regrow. And that's nice. And yeah, that will help. Um... And that also says build a water pump. Yes, water pump is super duper duper important. Um, you definitely want to put one down. It's one of these guys. One piece has to be in the water and the other piece does not need to be in the water. This is a little bothersome the way it's laid out, but this is fine. I'll, I'll survive that. We'll put that there. And then I highly recommend if you have um any type of well if you collect water you have to give it some um storage units now we're getting a little bit into detail here but you don't want to necessarily put it anywhere you want to put it somewhere where you will have the beavers because it's one thing to carry water from the water pump to whatever storage unit you have but um beavers when they're thirsty they also have to get out there so if you can mitigate the walking distance a little bit, you may get more out of your beavers because there is a clock up here. This clock means you can only, or I say right now, I'm only working for 16 hours and then they're sleeping. Um, well, the less they have to run to get to do the things that they want to do, the more time they have to um, do the work that you want them to do. So keep that in mind when you do this. Um, and yeah, we'll just plop that down. What other things do we need? Well. We have barely any wood right now, and right now the only place that wood is stored is in here. You can store up to 40 wood um, logs in there, and that's not bad. I believe, um, same thing here, you can store up to 20 berries, and that is neat, but that's just not enough. Um, this water pump is still not being built, that's fine. That's just not enough. What we really need is more storage. The first storage I would say that you want to build is a log pile. And same thing again here, you don't want to have the log pile too far away from the source and not too far away from where you build things so may as well just plop this in the center of where we are that should work and then the other building that you want is a, um, a small warehouse those are just the only ones that are currently unlocked i don't believe i would build more out in this direction because there just isn't anything until we have a lot of stairs which we won't have for a long time so Somewhere in here and even on the gray is fine because that means we're not taking up any valuable farmland and that is excellent. Now if you have a lot of things assigned to be built, it's sometimes sometimes it's just a good idea to turn off uh, some priorities and just say, hey, this is really important for me, build that. So the beavers are coming out here and going to build their stuff. Once the material is there, it starts and then just someone has to get over here and actually start working. Is this Agel? Gigel. Gigel. I, I don't know what the what the gender of that Gigel is. But that's fine. It's not that important. Um, but here we go. 
So a little more, a few more logs are coming out right now. As long as we take the logs directly from here, um, I'm not worried about storing them. But at some point, like berries are already full. So I want to get this one built uh, relatively soon so we can collect more berries because berries are important. And then, yes, as you can see, there's day and night cycle. Uh, very important, very nice. Now, the tutorial wants to build, wants us to build the things that I already am building. It will just take a second because we will need to take down all these trees. But, and I hope you can see something, all the beavers are currently sleeping because they don't have a place to go. The other thing, if they are sleeping on the ground, means they don't have a way to procreate. Yes, they need their privacy, otherwise you will not have little beaver babies. So that's important. Um, down here in the corner, you see a little bit of just information of what's currently going on. Um, just when people's uh, beavers grow up uh, to be a working force or part of the working force, or when uh, beavers go um, die or when they are born and other things. I was just looking up here, there was someone unemployed, so I just assigned them to the district center to do more. Cool. This, so far, is doing pretty well. Um, now we have this water tank sitting here and we are now collecting some water and that's excellent. This guy's the next one that gets built. Again, um, we don't have a lot of goods in stock right now. I'm almost considering for right now to speed us up a little bit. Let's put another lumberjack flag in here. This, this area, honestly, is really great for it. And you can see there are little saplings that are still growing and it will take a little while for them to grow, um, but they're not, it's finite. It's a finite resource. So you don't want to overstretch your, um, your lumberjacks before you can do something. Now these signs just means beavers want some water and there's no water here. And as you can see, he will go straight there. And if this, um, this tank, why, why are you going all the way out here? I don't understand. You don't have to go all the way out here. Okay, but you are. Normally, sometimes I get them from here, I guess as long as there's water available out here on the pump, it's not really a problem. Currently, we are doing fine. What is this? Hide water. Eh, we don't need to. But currently, we're still doing okay. We don't have a drought coming in yet, but it will come very, very, very soon. Great. Um, warehouse is done. That means this one is probably gonna get emptied, and that's what we want. How are we doing over here? There's no stock yet, uh, just a couple of logs. Um, and we're gonna build the log pile here probably, probably pretty soon. But currently, again, we could store 60 logs here in just these lumber um, lumber piles. And that's, that's not what they're called. Lumber jag flags. Um, so it's not really a big problem. And there are other things that I wanna build faster um, so we can get things um, done. One would be, where is it? Uh, science. Science is important. Um, I know that right now we're not using all of our beavers and that is fine, but we could use one beaver to start doing some science for just things because once we have science, we can unlock um, items later. It is night again. That means beavers are gonna sleep. So one of the next things after science is done is to add some um, housing. Housing, 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 so we can start getting some baby beavers. We can actually plan that in the middle of the night. Um, that shouldn't be a big problem. And there are lodges, different lodges, double lodge, triple lodge. Some lodges you have to unlock, and then there are mirror lodges too. Why is that important? Because you can stack your buildings. You can stack buildings as long as they say they're solid. And I think that is pretty cool. So yeah, R to rotate, and then how many do we need? I don't know. Um, for right now, we have 11 homeless, three fit into one of these. So we'll just start with four, um, get out a little path. Cool. And then later on, we will probably stack things on top of these or well, wh whatever we need to do. It should be fine. Okay. One thing that we see here is currently this guy is full. Building is full. That is awesome. But uh, once a drought hits, this is not going to be enough. So let's just build another one, fill the next one up and so on until we don't need it anymore. How are we doing right now? District Center has three or four people. I think that is good. How are our lumberjack flags? Three or three. That's what I wanna see. That looks that looks perfect. Cool. Uh, what is next? Well, next is we are still doing okay on food. We have 113, but that is not a ton. 
And there are better ways to make food. One of the ways is a farmhouse. So a farmhouse, um, again, has an area of influence, like all the other things do as well. But for the farmhouse, you actually can grow crops. And we have carrots, potatoes, wheat. Um, they all take different amounts of time to grow. Um, but they are, well, they're pretty, they're pretty good to have. We're going to start with carrots. Um, just this amount looks fine to me, I think, for right now. Um, yeah. Once this one gets done, we will get some more food in, and then we have another, you know, source of food for right now. Something else that I will do, and, and th this may be a little confusing, these farmhouses are not assigned to the crops. It's just there's only going to be two beavers, I think up to two beavers in here at a time, and they will try to tend to the farm. If you add more farmhouses, you will get more beavers to tend to whatever crops you have. So I will probably plan on um, getting these crops up and running. And once the first harvest is in, I will start concentrating on the next type of crop. And that will be fun. Right. Um... Yeah, what else do we need? I think more housing is in order. Let's get one of these because you will need extra space or um, leftover spaces. Otherwise, well, you will have trouble with your with your residents and they will not be happy. So keep them happy as a good thing. Good thing to do. Research. We have Kuski, Kuski. Um, you're doing pretty okay. So that's what we that's, that's that's just what you want to see. That's perfect. Yes, uh, lumber is still doing relatively slow, but I think we'll be okay. I, how, how much is this going to cost me? I don't know if it cost me anything. Okay, just building this. Cool. Um, even though it didn't cost anything, it's just the lumber pile that we wanted still from the beginning. So that was the last part of the tutorial, and that's fine. We have a farm here, and we have some water coming in. That is awesome. I would expect some logs to come in here pretty soon. How are we doing here? Some of our children have grown up, but we have not gotten new kids yet. So I hope that is happening relatively soon. Um, what else do we need to do right away? Well, as I said in the beginning, water is super duper important. Like the most important thing in this game, probably. If you want to make sure that all of this stays green and lush, you have to make sure that it does so. One way to do that is you can build a dam. When I started playing this, I wasn't quite sure um, what this really meant. Um, essentially, if you, and if you actually read the instructions, it blocks the water, but it has a little um, area on the top where the water can go through. Um, so it will back up the water a little bit. It's like the bottom third. If you look at it, it's probably really hard to see. It's the bottom third here. Um, but once these dam pieces are done, it's about two thirds up. And it will stay there for a little while longer and the pump can actually get some water in. Now, something that is really cool, um, the game will use up the water during the drought, which makes perfect sense, but may not be super intuitive right away. But yeah, if there's a drought and you have a pump running, eventually the water will be out. If the drought is too long, all the water will go away and everything that's green because of the water will maybe disappear. So I will put this one in here um, and that should be very useful and helpful for a while. But we will need another dam for just our pump so our pump doesn't drain all our food and crops and everything else. So I'm going to put another dam in here once these guys are done. The problem with these is they cost 20 logs to get built. Which, as you can see, we don't have anything in the stockpile right now. And that's that's okay. That's fine. For now. Um, wonderful. What else is going on? Well, we need um, other things. How's our science doing? Only 51. The first thing, thing we probably want to do, and something is with my mouth today because I can't say certain things, um, is a forester. A forester is 60. Um, th that's nice. What, what does that mean? Well... 60 signs doesn't take that long because usually you get what three three signs per per round so just a couple more rounds and then we can get a forester a forester however needs power um and if you look at them so it needs uh it doesn't actually tell you here but you do need power for it and there are two ways to get power one is a water well 
just like a wind, a water mill, if you want to, or if you want to say. And then there's a power wheel. It's just a hamster. Which one do we want? Honestly, I haven't played with the hamster wheel yet, but obviously for the hamster wheel, you will need a, um, a hamster to, let's say, work in this. Not really working, but kind of is working. But maybe this is better for us because at some point the water will stop flowing. So let's start with that one just for right now. And then once we hit 60, which we do now, um, unlock the Forester. Um, actually, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted the Lumber Mill. It uses 50 horsepower. Yes, so that ex uh, does exactly what we need. I um, got myself confused there a little bit. I'm putting this next to the Lumber Pile, next to the rest of the Lumber, and also by the Warehouse. So all of this should go relatively smoothly, I hope. And at the same time, I will build the Forester that we just unlocked because we will run out of trees here relatively soon. Um, we do have a few children. Um, yep, we have two guys born, Jojen and Halith. Yes, cool. Thanks for, thanks for getting born. Um, so we can now concentrate on other trees. Now there's birch, pine, maple, all different trees with different attributes. In nine days, you get one log. In 12 days, you get two logs. I'm going to pause this. Otherwise, I'm just going to mess it up. Um, so what I'm going to do is everything up here can grow... Uh, the pine um, that should get us two logs in 12 days, which is still a little while away. And the rest can be grown in maple. And I'm gonna keep it nice over here. Yep, that looks good. And then fill in everything that's green on this side. Nice. So now, um, let's speed this up again. Now we should be good to go. It looks like this guy is not currently uh, manned. Unemployed beavers in district. How many do we have here? Three. Let's take one out there and have him run in the hamster wheel. Perfect. Yep, that's producing enough power for this guy, but we don't have enough beavers that don't have anything to do right now. One thing that I should probably do, even though we want these guys to work, get you out of there. So instead of using two lumberjack flags, we have someone that actually does something to the lumber that we can use later. Uh, at this point, it looks like we are starting to accumulate some logs, which is awesome. Um, but I don't just want to waste them and sit, have them sit there. So let's get some more water in. That will be very, very important. Very, very soon. Our um, dam pieces are already done. That is awesome. So we can start building the next dam. Um, right here. Cool. I, I think... There we go. Unless, is this just too wide? I don't think... Yeah, no. There, There's just not another piece that's just too wide, so... Three it is, and that's fine. I just wanted to have it... Have as much water accumulated in this area as possible, so um, we can actually... Um, use as much of that water as possible. I could put another dam over here. If I have enough logs, I will probably do that so our trees... Um, don't stop growing uh, because of water shortage. That would be nice. Okay, so we are on cycle one, day 10. I think this total cycle is about 12 days. So this is, we're, we're moving pretty well. Someone working here in unemployed beavers in the district. Where could I take one away? We have a lot of food right now. So let's take that beaver out. Um, that we get a little more, you know, everything else. The forester is actually pretty important uh, because of trees that need to be planted right now. Um, so yeah, let's let's see that he's doing his job. The next thing, housing, looks like we're kind of short. Um, so let's get that one in. And this should be a good stopping point. We have a pretty solid setup. Um, once this dam is done, I'm pretty sure that we're going to survive the first drought, but you never know. So, if you like this kind of stuff, um, I will do at least two more, um, back to back to back, so a three-parter, um, and if it's if you like it, let me know, I'll try to make more. If you don't like it, let me know, and I'll try to make no more. <laughs> so, thanks for coming by, um, I'll let this run for a little bit and get some things done, and then we will be back. Bye.